got more than 1,500 points. For the last 30 years, people have been trying to save me and my family in this classic game of Gold Tribe. Will it ever end? Who will ever know? Um, okay, let me talk to you about Camp Robotron, our second phase of our promotion here at Star Worlds Arcade in DeKalb, Illinois. Those of you who have been following it know that we have celebrated Robotron's 30th birthday a little over a week ago. And I'd like to thank everyone that's participated in that. Our gamers here locally at Star World and globally. Uh, it was really heartwarming. And when you put out an event like that we do, you put some time into it and you hope people enjoy it. But when you have people that start celebrating it in Japan and Canada and the UK, uh, that's fantastic. That you actually, you, your, that your work is well worth it. You, you want to keep on doing more like that. And I'm very proud that other people have jumped on board to celebrate not only Robotron, but Eugene and Larry's classic game. I mean, the two of them have done fantastic things in the gaming world. Um, and when I was a kid growing up, Robotron was one of my favorite games. And I think the reason you ask everyone, they all have their different opinion on what attracted them to Robotron. Other than the crazy colors and the fast movement, it was pretty, I think, cutting edge for the time. To me, it was designed by a pinball company, Williams Electronics. It had the a draw to it like a pinball does. And uh, if you play pinball, you understand it has the multiplier factor. When you're picking up the mommies, the daddies, and the mikeys all over the play field, you go from 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, unless you get killed. Then it goes three sets. A pinball is very similar to that when you're building up your, your scoring banks. Um, Camp Robotron is now, I've been kind of uh, alluding to a few little facts here and there, but now we're going to let out a lot of the secrets of what Camp Robotron is. It's not only the celebration of Robotron. It's a celebration of some of the, the cutting-edge things that Robotron brought to the table gaming-wise, such as the dual joystick playing. Um, never, you know, if you ever talk to Eugene Jarvis, he'll tell you that that was never ever, ever out there. Um, I believe they looked at the game Berserk and figured, how can we improve upon that? And they certainly did, in my opinion. Um, that you went on to now, now everyone at an Xbox or PlayStation, you know, the dual joysticks on your, you know, they're smaller now, but it's, you know, just normal. Uh, features on a game, and Eugene Jarvis went on to, well, he, Robotron wasn't his first game of success. Uh, he started out, I believe, at Atari in pinballs. Um, I know one of my favorite classic uh, Williams pinballs that he worked on, I think just the sound effects for, was Space Shuttle. Uh, then he went on to Defender, Stargate, Robotron, Smash TV, Total Carnage, the Cruise and World Series, and he's still very, um, very out there in the newer games coming out through uh, thr Raw Thrills and Playmatics. Uh, so it's awesome to actually uh, still see him out there doing what he does best. Um, and I'm also going to announce that at Camp Robotron at our kickoff date this Saturday the 16th that Walter Day will be here and as one of our honored guests. And I've just gotten that confirmed today that Eugene Jarvis will be here as our honored guest. So it's going to be a fantastic night. Both people are in my opinion, just very down-to-earth people that can talk about the, the history of gaming and their involvement, and you know, even Walter and uh, Eugene, I'm sure, would be happy to talk about you know the future, what, what he sees, because obviously um, he's got a hand in a lot of the future where some game is going. Um, Camp Robotron is not just about the game Robotron; it's built upon many games, like Smash TV will be a tournament, um, Tutankham will be a tournament. There's a few other games that will be thrown in there that I'm kind of keeping secret for right now. And we are very gracious to have sponsors such as Retroids.com, um, MidwestGamingClassic.com, uh, Mattress Warehouse of Decal, Brian's Pro Shop and Hobby. I'm sure I'm missing one other one, but I've got a few other sponsors that are gonna, coming in on the 11th hour that are working with us. Um, Smash TV is going to be the Crown Jewel Tournament. Those of you that love the game, you're, you're all going to be put head to head and we're going to see who can actually win the top prize because Smash TV is all about greed and getting those points and destruction and um, so we're going to see who can do that in a very friendly way here at Star Worlds. Um, Camp Robotron, another one of the features will be you will be able to buy a Camp Robotron shirt and I uh, think we have them um, medium, large and extra large and I think we can get them ordered in 2x we're going to have to pre-order those with um, the gamers. So um, if we don't have your size on the 16th, we can definitely take, you know, take an order and get it for you. The t-shirt is pretty cool. Um, a lot of input on the design that went into that. The, once you have the shirt, you can actually work for RoboPoints. And you'll 
various achievements throughout the summer will be available and they're not only going to be about getting a high score on a tournament. Uh, we're going to try to make it where a gamer can have fun and um, you know a lot of there's some great Robotron players out there. I mean Darren here at Star World, most of you would know him, he's what we would consider a master level player. There are plenty of them out there that are just fantastic Robotron players. But what I'm going to say here is we've had a very good positive response to our guide, RobotronGuidebook.com and the master players are out there, but so are some of the novice players. And I would like to continue to see that goodwill and that, um, I'm trying to think of the right word for this, the good karma out there. Let the, the, the better players help out some of the weaker players to enjoy the game and to learn the game. Um, Robotron is a tough game to pick up. I'm, I put plenty of quarters into a Robotron machine before I even owned an arcade. So I definitely paid my dues, and, and I still have fun playing the game. I'm not a master level player. I, I get to watch Darren play and flip waves, and it, it's all fun. So definitely keep up the karma that's been going on out there. I want to see people enjoying and having fun with this promotion. I don't need drama going on. This is not what Star World is about, or even Camp Robotron. This is about having fun, and so keep up the good work, everyone. Um, Throughout the summer, you'll be able to retrieve your Robo Points for different pins that you can actually put and add to your shirt. And I'm not saying everyone has to get every pin we put out there, but I'm sure I can think of two people that are going to be fighting neck and neck to try to get every pin for their shirt. So let's see how that all works out. Um, try to think about anything else. Uh, there'll be, I'd say, stay tuned to StarWorldsArcade.com, CelebrateTheArcades.com, our Facebook page, which is the Star Worlds page on Facebook. Um, i trying to think of anything else that's out there. There's so a lot of great things happening for Star Worlds over this last year. Our documentaries out there, there's um, buttons, t-shirts, and actually um, anyone coming to the event on the 16th, which I, there are still a few tickets left. Um, it is filling up quick, and if you don't have a ticket, definitely contact us. Um, basically, it's an evening from 5 to 11 of gaming, food, and good friends together, and um, just hope to kick off the Camp Robotron with a, a good night of fun, and I'll release more information on tournaments and stuff to follow very soon after. Um, and as far as the Robo Points, I'm actually going to put either a, a sheet together or a booklet that will actually start showing you the tasks that you can achieve to gain your Robo Points. Um, anyone attending the kickoff party the, of Camp Robotron the 16th will automatically get 10 Robo Points. And I believe there'll probably be a few things that go on that evening to start building up your uh, your score of robo points. Um, I guess my last thing is to get out there, have fun with us. Um, we keep we have a good time with our promotions. We that's what keeps us and drives us to keep on bringing more fun events. And this is definitely something we put a lot of work into. And we hope you enjoy it.